Ninth congressional race too close to call Republican Mark Harris upset incumbent Robert Pittenger in the spring and how he's trying to keep the seat red in his way. Democrat Dan McCready. The latest poll from the New York Times shows the race tied. It could go either way and could lead to tilt the balance of power in the House. Michelle Bowden live at five. Michelle, this has been a nasty and very expensive race. Very much so. All of the above. There is a lot on the line on this race, and that's why a lot of people paying attention. And as you said, this race just too close to call. They are both first time politicians. You know, I never plan to run for Congress. Democrat Dan McCready, a Marine and the owner of a clean energy company, facing off against Mark Harris, the former pastor at Charlotte's First Baptist Church, who says he decided on politics after leading the fight against gay marriage in North Carolina. I began to, to really wrestle with just how involved uh, could I be or should I be? McCready positions himself as a middle-of-the-road Democrat who is not a fan of Nancy Pelosi. I actually favor increased tax cuts for the middle class. Um, the tax bill last year took steps in the right direction. It cut taxes for the middle class, but at the end of the day, 83% of the benefits from that tax bill will go to the wealthy and the ultra-wealthy. Harris is a conservative Republican hoping to keep the 9th District red. It has been since the 60s. I really think it's a major issue that we deal with um, the whole immigration uh, situation. I think the rising cost of health care is a, a continues to be something that we wrestle with. He says he's also been wrestling with what he calls attack ads that claim his sermons promote women as so-called servant lovers. To take a phrase like servant lover and servant leader and to twist that and use that in this I think this um, very sensitive environment of the Me Too movement and make it sound like that I would somehow be in favor of women being submissive as sex slaves or something like that, that is ludicrous. McCready says his goal is just to bring both sides together. We need new leaders who are going to put country over party. Uh, that's how we fought in the Marine Corps. So out of my 65 Marines that I had the honor of leading in Iraq, we came from all over this country. We never cared about where you came from. We never cared about who your parents were or the color of your skin. The last thing we cared about was whether you're Republican or Democrat. All right, so we're coming to you live from the Mecklenburg County Board of Elections. It's interesting. I just talked to them. They said one of the biggest issues that they keep hearing about, people who are upset that they can't vote in the McCready-Harris race because it doesn't cover the entire region here in Charlotte. It's a congressional race, of course, but everybody is seeing the commercials, so a lot of people fired up wanting to vote in the race. Not everybody can. It is a race you can bet we will have covered for you from all sides tomorrow, and it will no doubt be a late night. Reporting live now in Mecklenburg County, Michelle Bowden, NBC Charlotte. All right, Michelle, thank you.